Hello, I'm Stephanie Vinuesa, an Applications Engineer for the Power Module team at Wolf Speed. In this video, I will be introducing the hardware accessories supporting the new 1700V XM3 module, including a redesigned gate driver and dynamic evaluation kit. The new 1700V capable XM3 gate driver, designed by Wolf Speed, is an updated to the original 1200V driver design and remains in the same footprint. Leveraging our partnership with analog devices, we utilize the latest all-in-one isolated gate driver, the ADUM4146 optimized for silicon carbide motion module. The updated dynamic evaluation board features increased copper spacing and new film capacitors with higher voltage rating to support bus voltages up to 1500 volts. Let's take a closer look at the new XM3 gate driver. Like the previous driver, this 1700 volts version includes overcurrent protection, shoot through prevention, reverse polarity protection, and a building miller clamp to provide robust and reliable operation in a high DVDT environment. There are three major changes to the new board. Improved short circuit performance, a more robust temperature feedback method, and increased voltage isolation for high gas bus voltages. Analog devices incorporated our feedback from our experience with ADUM4135 for a more robust short circuit protection by lowering the minimum blanking time, reducing the soft shutdown resistance, and adjusting the overcurrent read voltage. These changes led to a significant improvement in short circuit protection for Wolf Speed silicon carbide MOSFET modules. The temperature feedback circuit now utilizes a resistant to duty cycle modulation for very noise immunity compared to the previous ADUM4135 based driver's frequency modulation. The ADUM4146 IC features a second galvanic isolation stage to increase the voltage isolation capability of the driver for working voltages up to 1500 volts. Also, as a quality of life upgrade, we've added MMTS connectors for BGS gate signal measurement points to be used with the Tronic ISOBU isolated probes. Now, let's touch on a critical difference between the old XM3 gate driver and the new 1700 volts driver. The cross pin signal connector pinout. There are two signal pinouts in the XM module family, the inline pinout and the cross pinout. The inline pin now features both gate pins and both source pins directly connected to each other in a row. The new cross pin out features the gate pins and the source pins in an X pattern. We incorporated this pin out change to improve the dynamic control of new and future generation silicon carbide MOSFET at peak switching speeds. It is crucial to match the pin out between the power module and the gate driver. Mixing the inline and the cross pin outs can result in a short circuit condition on the gate driver's output, which can damage the gate driver. Finally, the updated 1700 volt CIO dynamic evaluation board is comparable with this new 1700 volt 320 amps XM3 module, features new bulk capacitors and high frequency capacitors with higher voltage rating to support bus voltages up to 1500 volts, and test points to facilitate measuring the drain source voltage to both switch positions. Thank you for watching the 1700V XM3 hardware overview video.